So I thought I'd talk a little bit about how to take property, one way to take property as a distribution. We had a client, he called, we set him up probably eight years ago with a checkbook IRA, and he was from Alaska and he loved to hunt and fish. And there happened to be a cabin out in the woods that came up for sale. So he bought it with his checkbook IRA. Now, he understood the prohibited transaction rules and we, we uh, really schooled him in that and said, now look, you can't use this yourself. You can't be renting it to your folks, your kids, your spouse, yourself, or any company you guys own. But you can rent it out to other people and uh, you know put the money back into the LLC and it'd be a nice investment. It'd be something you enjoy and you can stop and check on it and you know keep it up. And he wanted to do that with the future in mind of when he would retire and he would use it. So about eight years went by and he hit 59 and a half so he wouldn't have the uh, early withdrawal penalty. So he called us up and said, how, how do I go, out, go about doing that? And that's one of the services that we uh, provide for our clients. We don't charge any annual fee. They can call us up and we'll help them out, you know, years later. And uh, so he did. So we explained to him, basically what we did was we have a couple of appraisal companies, put him in contact, they got comps, they got an appraisal, figured out what the property would bring fair market value on the, uh, on the, out in the real estate market. And then they wrote that up as an appraisal, then he submitted that to the custodian and transferred the title from the LLC back to the IRA along with the appraisal and then notified and took a distribution in kind basically said hey I don't want money I want I want the title to this property and here's the value since it's not cash you had to get an outside appraisal here's the value of that property the custodian looked at it stamped it with the approval sent him the title the title you know the deed and everything there was an assignment of the uh, the ownership went to him and now he personally owns it and he got a 1099 sent to him at the end of January and he owed taxes the next April 15th or that, that coming April 15th. I think he took the distribution in February so he didn't have to pay tax on it for about 14 months. But he got a 1099 for the appraised value and that's what he paid tax on. And now he personally owns that property. He said the property around there has gone up like 150% and you know he got it tied up a long time ago and uh, anyway, so now he's hunting and fishing out of that property. And there are some other ways that I'll discuss in other videos how you could even reduce that distribution by about third as far as the value.